Hello and welcome to the Team Atlantic channel. Today is a tutorial on how to repair a modern LED light fixture. You need to repair a light fixture occurs when you have a set of your favorite light fixtures on the ceiling, but one of them is broken. It seems that the easiest way to go is to buy a new one, but when searching for a replacement, it turns out that the manufacturer has discontinued this model. And that's why it needs repairs. For our repair purposes, the light fixture consists of two main parts. The first part is the driver, and the second part is the LED strip. The LED strip is usually installed inside the light fixture and only goes to the driver. The first stage of any repair work is diagnostics and we need to determine what is faulty, the driver or the strip. We start testing the driver by connecting the mains voltage using safety clips and connecting the mains cable. Turn off the LED strip and connect a multimeter to the driver output. Turn on the mains voltage and we see the presence of output voltage at the driver output. Therefore, the driver is working. We need to look for a fault in the LED strip. To find a fault in the LED strip, we need to disassemble light fixture. This is the most time-consuming part of the job. The second stage of diagnostics begins with searching for faulty LEDs. To do this, we use the Octacom M1060 multimeter set to diet testing mode. In this mode, there are about 3 volts on the multimeter probes due to the internal battery of the multimeter. The multimeter itself works like a regular voltmeter. This can be clearly seen in the connection diagram. We start the LED test and immediately see that the working diodes begin to light up. The explanation for this is simple. 3 volts from the multimeter is enough to power and light the LED in direct mode. Direct connection is connecting the plus of the multimeter battery to the plus of the LED and the minus of the multimeter respectively to the minus of the LED. Two LEDs light up at the same time. This means that they are connected in parallel. This way we understand the entire LED wiring diagram in the light fixture. In this three we see six LEDs, they are connected in pairs in parallel and the pairs are connected to each other in series, as in the first figure. There are four strips in the light fixture and they are connected in series. We also get the calculation of the voltage inside the entire light fixture. We multiply 3 volts on the LED by 3 series connected pairs on the light strip and multiply by 4 consecutive strips. We get the voltage of all strips 36 volts. We look at the driver cover. It says DC 24 to 36 volts. Correct. Everything is exactly right. This is how our Octaco multimeter revealed the connection diagram of the LEDs in the lamp. During this work, we found a couple of dead LEDs. We need to replace them. The next stage of our work is dismantling the LED strip. As a rule, the strip is attached to adhesive tape and can be removed simply with a blade. It is important to do this slowly and carefully. After removing, we see a strip of thermal paste. We also need to understand which diodes we have to replace. This can be seen from the markings on the LED strip. In this case, these are the four middle digits 5730. And what is the significance of these digits? The answer is simple. These are the LED indicators on the left and lights on the right. We have more information about this on our website, the link will be in the description under the video. And what we have here is LED lights. They are made as small rectangles or circles. The type usually corresponds to the size of 5.7 by 3 mm. That's the secret of the numbers 5730. And the purchase of new ones must be done using this code. To remove LEDs, we will use soldering tweezers. They connect to our S1107 soldering station instead of a soldering iron. We talked about the soldering station in an earlier video. The link will be in the description and a pinned command. 
One station for two soldering tools is very convenient. It is important to ensure that both tips of these soldering tweezers are clean. Turning on the station, we apply flux to the soldering area and to the ends of the tips. We crimp the LED on both sides and that's it. Simple and fast, but you need to do it carefully. We clean the mounting surface. This is important for high-quality installation of new LEDs. LED type 5730 is supplied in a strip from which we take two pieces and it is important to position them correctly relative to the strip on which we will mount. We check the position of the LED on the strip and, at the same time, the location of the new LEDs. We see that they light up at the same position of the probes of our multimeter. This way we are sure of the correct position of the LED before installation. We apply flux to the soldering area and take the LED and install it in place. Simple and fast, but you need to do it carefully. We will do the soldering with a regular soldering iron and it will connect to our AC1107 soldering station instead of thermal tweezers. It is important to clean the LED from flux after soldering. The LED heats up and flux residues should not interfere with heat dissipation. For cleaning we use regular alcohol. To test the repaired LED strip we will install temporary wires. We will test the entire strip of LEDs using the Acticom APS7307 programmable power supply. Voltage. Nine From volts. the connection diagram, we know that the LED strip operates at 9 volts and the current should not exceed 260 milliamps, as indicated current. on the lamp driver. Amperes. Now set 9 volts and 260 milliamps using the Octacom Power current. Manager Express program. Amperes. This program has audio guides for all values, so you can work with this power supply without Output looking enabled. at the display. Current 0.12 amperes. Current 0.036 amperes. Current 0.123 amperes. Turn on the output of the power supply and see that the strip is working. Thus, we successfully repaired the LED strip. Output disabled. Assembly of the LED light fixture is in the reverse order of disassembly, and it is not at all difficult. Having assembled the light fixture, we connect the wires and plug it into the electrical outlet. Everything works perfectly. Thank you for watching the video, we hope it was useful for you. Please don't forget to like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss our next video. Also, if you need to repair your favorite light fixture, contact us, the link will be in the description or visit our website. Bye and see you later!